Welcome back, my friends. So I know there's a lot of people who either really dislike Nintendo or love them, but there's one company out there who has been hell-bent on banning the sales of Nintendo Switch. They will not stop. Since the launch of the Switch, these guys have been on them. Multiple lawsuits. One lawsuit was dismissed. Another one just recently, I mean very recently, um, Nintendo won against them. And now they're at it again. They just want to get the sale of the Nintendo Switch banned. And they're going about this based off of Section 337 of the Tariff Act of 1930. So I've been looking in the game vice a little bit. Their company based in Simi Valley, California, formerly Wikipad. So they made this product called the Wikipad. Looks like it was released in 2013. I remember seeing this, but never really paying much attention to it. Essentially, it was like a cradle, it looks like. Uh, with controls on the sides and this little tablet thing slid into the middle of it. Uh, you could play games. Obviously, that that's what it was meant for. It was a game controller with an Android tablet. Boom. Very similar to the Switch came out, you know, some years ago. So, yeah, is that similar to the Switch? Sure. Sure it is. But there's so many other products out there as well that are very similar. So what these guys have been making recently are just these little... uh almost like Joy-Cons. They attach to a tablet, a phone, an iPhone, letting you play some games. Uh, looking at this stuff, uh, it looks like some people are into it. I see them like advertising this a lot with Fortnite on mobile. And sure, it's a way to play some games. And this came out actually before the Nintendo Switch. So I find that stuff kind of interesting. But yeah, they're stating that the complaint's been filed with the U.S. International Trade Commission. We're looking at Game Industry Biz. Uh, his website here. So they're requesting an investigation based on the infringement by Nintendo of Section 337 of the Tariff Act of 1930. So the Tariff Act of 1930, um, I had to look all this stuff up to make sure I was getting all the information, but I find this kind of interesting uh, because it's a statute that prohibits unfair trade or unfair competition in importation, and it aims at protecting intellectual property at the United States borders. So reading more into this, it seems like it was a big thing to stop, like essentially like Chinese counterfeiting. Uh, and does it really stop that? I don't know. I see a lot of that stuff going on uh, where you get a product that's just like, boom, it's just straight up. Like this is a copy, a clone of another device, or maybe even branded the same or very similarly, right? Similar. I can never say that word. Damn it. Um, it's to stop that, but I don't think it's that effective. But these guys are essentially, you know, taking a look at that and saying, yeah, the Nintendo Switch being imported, obviously it's not made in the States, it's not produced here, is being imported into the States and it's going against their patents, against the stuff that they're doing. So they want it banned. And like I said, they've done multiple lawsuits against Nintendo and it's all based off of Nintendo's tablet, you know, the Switch with the detachable Joy-Cons. It's, it's, it's just so similar to their product, right? And I, I see it, I guess, but if Nintendo's already had one lawsuit dismissed, another one that they just won, like this article states last month, they won this last month, so this was not that long ago. Uh, March 12th was when this article went up. It was a, f a lawsuit that was filed in 2018 claiming that the, ho the console handheld hybrid copies ideas from its own detachable controllers. Okay. Um, I mean, the Switch has a lot of stuff going for it. HD Rumble, which doesn't really seem like a lot of companies are using. The motion controls, the infrared, NFC. There's a lot of stuff going on here. I don't think it's really like that like unique of an idea to have controllers that attach to the a console. Essentially, it's a handheld, right? The Nintendo Switch is... It's the switch. You could switch it from handheld to TV mode. And having this thing in your hands, it's just a it's 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 just a freaking handheld with controllers attached to it. And this company's just like, no, this ain't happening. And the interesting thing I find with that is these guys, it's it's not a thing where it's like Nintendo violated our patent. We want to get money out of this. No. <laughs> they just they want to they don't want any competition. They want Nintendo off of the market with the, the Switch. Like, I guess it doesn't, like, they. If, if by some crazy chance these fools at Game Vice won this newest lawsuit, 
that sure, like Nintendo could continue making these things, but like the Switch Lite version where nothing detaches, um, that would be the main possibility. Nintendo just cannot make detachable controllers anymore, right? Would it be the end of the world? Uh, it could be for some people because there's some games that require it. There's some games that require you having to remove the the dumbass Joy-Con, which I don't I don't I don't use these. Yeah, my green screen is kind of jacking this up. Um, I don't use these. Like this is not a controller to me. Even attached to the system, I can't stand these things. I don't use these. I always use a pro controller or or something else, right? Mostly the pro controller. I know not everybody likes the pro controller or has one, but there's games that require you to use this individually. I think that's for donks. I think it's really, and, and it's games that shouldn't. It's sh they shouldn't, right? Um, I know my kids play a few games like Scribble Knots. I think is one of them where you have to use that. And then like, wasn't like Pokemon Let's Go one of them where you either had to use a little ball in your hand or use a Joy-Con? You couldn't use a Pro Controller. I don't. Don't quote me on that one. But I know there's a few games like that. I just think it's ridiculous. But Nintendo, if if these guys won, Nintendo could just produce one that doesn't detach. Maybe sell. Uh, joy cons by themselves that can't be attached to anything that way people can continue playing the games that require them but i just don't see this this happening if they've already had a case dismissed nintendo won a case against them uh, that's two cases so is third time the charm that's what these guys are hoping for it seems but will they ever stop doesn't really make a lot of sense to me you know is there similarities here i'm sure plenty of people have talked about that looked at this and sure there are similarities here but there's a lot of things that are not similar. The way these things connect to the Switch versus how these connect to specific uh, phones and whatnot, you know, through USB-C or US, you know, um, micro USB or whatever's on an iPhone or, or whatever. Um, and then the features that these things have. It's, it's not exactly the same, but it's a very similar idea. Did these guys have the idea first? Maybe. I mean, it seems... They possibly did. I mean, they had that the wiki pad a long time ago. But I, I just thought this was uh, an interesting one. So they just filed this, uh, this, this suit or this investigation, whatever you want to call it. Friday, March 27th, the commodity portable gaming console systems with attachable handheld controllers and components. It doesn't say detachable. It just says attachable. Like the, th the, the interesting thing is, is with like the game vice stuff, can you use that thing? Um, detached, you can't, right? I don't know if you can. I don't. I wouldn't think you could because you do have to have it plugged in with the connector. Um, with USB-C connector combo delivers a truly awesome experience. The connection enables latency-free gameplay with no pairing. Okay, I mean, I don't really see too much other information here. Like I said, they do have uh, a few different versions um, that I've seen for Android, and then they also have ones for iPhone. And it looks like they all use the, the, the USB connection. They're not something that you can have detached from the device um, and, and, and use it, right? It has to be connected. How does the iPhone one work? I, I don't know. Uh, they got the uh, whatever the iPhone's connection is there. So to me, it, it, it seems like these things can't be detached. They can only be attached, right? So that's what this is saying, like attachable, not detachable. Nintendo... They're detachable. <laughs> you could detach it and still use them. Um, so there, there's that part of it. I just kind of find that that interesting. And it even says down here in the description um, where they want them to um, investigate this attachable controllers. So, yeah, interesting. I think this is not really going to be a, one that they win. I think it's just wasting time, wasting money. Like I said, Nintendo would have some solutions to where the Switch would not be banned for sale in the States or anywhere else, as far as the importation of these products from China, Taiwan, wherever they're being uh, manufactured at that time. I, I don't really see that happening. Um, you know, but who knows? Third time might be the charm, but Nintendo could be prepared. <sighs> it is what it is, man. These guys are just going to continue trying to ban it, <laughs> trying to stop the sale, not try to like say, Hey, they owe us money. Like, that's, that's just strange to me. Let me know what you guys think. Really do appreciate you guys hanging out. And with that said, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye and boom. Bye.